Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the coupled circuits dot rule or dot conversion. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic dot rule or dot conversion in the coupled circuit inductance. First we will see why we are using the dot rule. When the EMF is induced by self and mutual inductance occur simultaneously, the relative polarity of these two induced EMF must be determined before making any circuit calculation. So the EMF is induced due to the self and mutual inductance. In that we need to see the polarity whether it is positive or negative then only we can go for any circuit calculation. The induced EMF in a coil due to the mutual inductance may be either aid or opposed. It will be added or opposed. The induced EMF due to the self inductance depends upon the sense of the winding and the direction of the current in the coil. So this mutual inductance, self inductance may be added or opposed. That is depends upon the direction of the current in the coil. So we are going to use the dot rule based on the direction of the current so that we can able to identify whether it is the mutual inductance are added together or opposed together. That can be done by the direction of the current in the coil. So based on that there are two different methods available. I will see this one by one. The dot rule or dot conversion may be stated as follows. First one we have the dot is available in the inductor dot is given based on the dot and current direction we can classify if both currents enter the dotted end of the coupled coil or if both the current enter undotted end then the sign of mutual inductance will be the same as the sign of self inductance right the current enters either dotted end or undotted end both should be same both the current enter dotted end or both the current enter undotted end then the mutual inductance and self inductance both are same side second case if one current enters a dotted end and the other current enters the undotted end then the sign of the mutual inductance will be opposed the, to that of self inductance if both are different one current enters dotted one current enters at undotted end means self inductance and mutual inductance are opposing each other so based on that we will see the two different cases the first one is if the two currents flow into the dot or out of each dot then mutual inductance will be positive both enters at the dotted end or leaves at the dotted end means mutual inductance is positive if one current is flowing into dotted end and another current leaves the dotted end then it is the mutual inductance will be negative right so the mutual inductance may be positive or negative based on the direction so we have three different cases available the diagram also given based on that we will see that the first one mutual inductance is positive because both the current i1 and i2 flow into the dot let us consider these two inductors L1 and L2 say this is a dotted available at the upper end the current I1 in the coil 1 enters the dotted current I2 in the second coil also enters the dotted end both the currents are entering at the dotted end so that this mutual inductance will be positive both are enters the dotted end in the second case mutual inductance is positive because both the current I1 and I2 flow out of the end, out of the dotted end. So let us consider the two coils L1 and L2 is a mutual inductance, the current I1. See the current is leaving from the dotted end, I1. Current I1 in the coil 1 leaving from the dotted end. Similarly current in the coil 2, I2 also leaving from the coil, both are leaving. In previous case both the current enters the dotted end in this case both the current leaving the dotted end so this case also the mutual inductance is positive right so we will go to the third case one current enters the dotted end another current enters the undotted end mutual inductance is negative since 
the current I1 flows into the dot whereas current I2 flows out of the dot. So the two cases available here. Now first consider the circuit two inductors L1 and L2 dot is available for the first coil dot is available at the upper end second coil dot is available at the lower end. See this current I1 is enters the dotted end but this I2 is entered and dotted end. So both are different. Current I1 enters dotted end, I2 enters and dotted end. So this mutual inductance will be opposite. In another case, consider these two coil L1 and L2, this mutual inductance dot available at the upper end in both the coils. See this current I1 enters the I1 in the coil 1 enters the dotted end. But this current I1, I2 is leaving the dotted end. Current leaves, that is current enters the undotted end. So both are different. So this mutual inductance will be negative. So in this video, we will discuss the dot rule or dot conversion. We have positive or negative based on the current direction. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notifications. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.